James, was that the most free throws you've ever scored in a game that you can remember? No, in high school, I went uh, 16 for 16. Hmm. But uh, just, you know, how important it is, you know, making your free throws, in a, especially in a game like this when the three-point shot wasn't falling? Uh, that's all we had to rely on. Like you said, our three-point shot wasn't falling. So we had to get in the paint, get to the line, and generate some offense. <laughs> Next question, Steve Rivera, Fox Sports 1450. Yeah, James, last game you had a blowout. It was a nice win. This one was a closer game. It's probably better to play in closer games. You find out more about each other or yes? Yes or no? No, definitely. Like, uh, I, I feel like close games is when character built. You find out, you know, what people made of. And I feel like tonight when we didn't make shots, I feel like we responded real well. Because well, oh. in the future, I mean, we'll make shots. So us getting on the glass and rebounding the way we did, I feel like that helped us win a lot. What else helped you? Was it the defensive end, the aggressiveness? What else? It was the rebounding. Uh, Christian Coloco and Jordan Brown did an amazing job beating up the bigs, especially late in the game. I think at halftime we got like 50% of our shots back. So uh, us rebounding the way we did created some of the free throw opportunities that we could get, like off kickouts from Christian Coloco. I was able to get in the paint, things like that. So I know our defense was good in spurts, like, but we made a lot of mistakes tonight. So I feel like overall it was our defense and rebounding. Uh, you had a um, uncharacteristically tough shooting night from the field, but obviously perfect at the line. What's the difference there? Do you, are you calmer at the line in a game like this? How do you separate the two, uh, you know, when one, one is off and, and the other is really on? No difference. This basketball that's sometimes the way the ball bounces. I mean, are you? Do you find your? Uh, are you calmer, more confident? At least today, anyway. Did you feel like it when you stepped to the line, you just had a different kind of mentality, or same mentality right. I come in with at the line every day. Next question, Jason Barr, K Gun. Yes, uh, Christian uh, Bienjoué. Uh, what does it say about your team that you're able to win without shooting a bunch of making a bunch of three pointers? I mean, we've been working on that in practice. We know we're not going to be, we're not going to uh, knock down shots every game. So we have to be ready to win on, with, um, by making our free throws, by getting uh, second shots, you know. And today, like you said, today was a tough shot, a uh, tough night shooting the ball tonight, but we had a lot of second shots opportunities and we made our free throws. So I think that's a good thing for us that we didn't win by making three points, but we still find a way to win. Christian, uh, you know, earlier this season, you kind of struggled a little bit. Um, but the last few games, you definitely picked it up. Uh, what's allowed you to, you know, play at the level that everyone's kind of expect you to play at? I mean, yeah, I think the last, the first two or three games, I wasn't really myself. But right now, I kind of like getting back to my, uh, a better shape. I'm in good shape right now. And, you know, just doing my job. And I know the coaches, they trust me. So I don't, I don't really worry about it. Um, those two or three games when I didn't really play good because I know what I'm able, I'm capable of doing. So I'm just going to keep well, uh, keep playing for my team and doing everything coaches asked me to do. Uh, when you say you weren't yourself, uh, what what was it? What did you say? Uh, when you said you weren't yourself, uh, what was just kind of you know some things that didn't allow you to be yourself, like you said. I mean, I wasn't myself defensively, I can say, because I wasn't stopping the ball on, on ball screen defense. I, would, I think I have like zero blocks in the first two games, so that's not who I am. Um, my identity is like defensive stopper. I, I, get, I get blocks and, you know, stop the ball and all that. So and I didn't do that the first two games. So I think right now I'm getting back to myself. And uh, how do you think Benedict uh, has looked through the first five games of this year? I think right now he's playing really good. You know, he's playing really good. He's still a freshman, so I think he, did, he, made, he made a couple of mistakes tonight, but he's going to go over it. And I think the next few games, he's going to still keep playing, playing good, like crushing offensive, uh, offensive ball. I think today he had like, he had a lot of offensive rebounds. And yeah, he's going to keep knocking threes and drive to the basket, getting fouled, knocking free throws. So I think for a freshman, he's playing really good right now. And uh, for for James, uh, kind of along the same lines, uh, Benedict has looked pr very impressive uh, as as a guard, as a point guard. You know, what does he do that benefits you? Uh, Benedict is is my guy. Uh, I think his confidence is growing uh, as we play uh, every game. He, he get more confident, and him running the lane the way he does, and him finishing the way he does really helps me. And he can step out and make a three, so he helped me space the floor. He helped me in all areas. I love playing with him. Thanks. Next question back to Bruce Pascoe. 
Hey, uh, uh, Christian, I had a question for you, just kind of following up on what you said about knowing you might have a game like this where you, uh, you know, need to make up for it with rebounding. You had seven guys with five or more rebounds uh, and no free, no threes at all. I mean, is that pretty extreme when you look at it? Did you did you think it would ever come to that and have a game like this? Uh, I mean, we're definitely going to have a game nice like this now. We don't make sh we don't make shots. So I don't know. I don't really know what to say about it because we got a lot of offensive rebounds, so we, we have second shot opportunity. We just didn't make the, uh, knock them knock knock those shots. But I think next game we're gonna go. We got practice on Monday. I think we're gonna go back and work on our three point uh, everything, and I think we're gonna be better next game. Okay. And and James, I was wondering if I could ask you again about just not only shooting the free, but just getting to the line as much as you did, and and the aggressiveness you showed, and and the ability to kind of pick up those fouls. And you, you've done that a couple of times. I know that you you did that earlier at Georgetown too. Was it, do you feel more, uh, you know, comfortable in that right now or really confident with, with how you're able to, to do that? Well, I'm always real comfortable and confident when I'm on the floor. So tonight, uh, every game is different. Like I said, uh, tonight, my team <clears throat> really needed me to get in the paint and get to the line. So I feel like tonight, that's what I needed to do in order for us to score. Was there anything about them that they were doing defensively that you were able to take advantage of or maybe force them into situations where they were having yeah. value? Uh, dribble drives. I feel like I was getting to the paint at will. So uh, it wasn't, like I said, I keep reiterating, uh, my shots wasn't falling. So, you know, knowing me, I feel like no one can stand in front of me. And my teammates give me the confidence to, you know, do that whenever I see fit. So I think uh, we've we seen a lot of uh, lanes. So that, that's what helped me get to the line.